So I delayed this video by a bit cause I needed to confirm something and well despite the interesting promise or premise for the Wii Robot concept, the stock for Tesla did in fact take a dive cause well it was way too futuristic and compounded by the supposed human control robots. I guess there was a loss in confidence. So Mr. Elon, if you're watching this, here's some ideas to bring some of the confidence back and to make Wii Robot more appealing to reality. I'm gonna start off easy and on the funny side cause let's be honest, the robo van is shaped like a toaster. It's a cool concept but you see, let's take the same toaster for comparison. A toaster does what a standard pan and induction stuff or cooktop can do. However, a toaster is convenient in that it does the stuff for you, so you just gotta put the bread in it. On the opposite side, a standard pan needs a gas or induction cooktop and you have to do the timing and the flippings and all that. So great, toaster is the answer to the problem. But what if no one wants to eat bread on that day or some other day? Well then, the toaster is not useful anymore, is it? And that's the problem with the Robovan. Despite efforts throughout the years, USA continues to be a car first country. So promoting transit style products is only going to hurt in the short run. In this case, the government has to make changes first before a corporation can interfere. Because the people don't want it, including Mr. Elon, weirdly. So they have to be forced into transit before something like the Robovan can be marketed in the first place. To explain this even simpler, if a sports team had the choice, each player would take 15 cyber taxis or cyber cabs rather than one robovan in the US. Obviously, the situation is different if we push it to 50 people, but we didn't get a robo bus, did we? Before we get to the robo taxi, don't forget to subscribe and let's talk about the Tesla bot which was apparently controlled by humans. You see, that's not entirely a problem as remote work could be a thing to fit in, especially with like, it could be helpful for disabled people, for example. So that's an excuse for later on. But the Tesla bot shown was more of an aesthetic design, ignoring some practical issues. I guess that's how Tesla works, considering you have the Cybertruck, the Model X and so on. But my idea would make the bot look better as well. So you see, in the early stages, the center of gravity for robots is important especially if we're gonna make it do stuff for reasons written in text here. So pause it and read it if you want to know more about that. But to make bots have a wider tolerance, here's what's needed. You can see the diagram here if you wanna understand it a bit better. And this is a more feminine looking bot. And well, that's an advantage in itself compared to the male dancers here. Okay, now we talk about the cyber cab or the robot taxi. And well, this was probably the big part of the event. And yes, the cyber cab is cool at first glance. But then you realize it's an insane answer to the question of what if Honda Insight and Honda CRZ was brought back as a cyberpunk taxi. The coupe design in a car built for people looking to just have their first transport or basic transport is good for efficiency and cost. But like the Honda Insight and CRZ, that's just about what it's good for. The Hondas never sold well despite the initial appeal like how this Tesla Robo Taxi has its initial appeal. Very similar in situation. And this was because at the lower end of the pay grade for people, people want more space, more style, and more cost effectiveness. Trying to skip one for focus on the other two can backfire badly like it did for the Honda Insight and the Honda CRZ. To explain this even simpler, at the very least, just study the Honda Insight and CRZ and see why it failed. Because currently, the Robo Taxi is basically a Honda CRZ with one extra seat because it's an autonomous taxi. So two people, but maybe there's more to it. Like with the progress from the Tesla Roadsters, the first gen one, to the insanely surprising Tesla Model S that they came up with, maybe there is a plan for the robot taxi as well. Remember, everything shown at Wii Robot is a concept. So people are maybe just getting too ahead of themselves. But investors are a normal group of people, are they? As they gotta think twice, so knowing this is a concept, why has this been bad for the stock confidence? Well, it's the whole disappearing parking lot thing that's caused this problem. You see, We Robot is an urban mobility concept basically, and a key part of the presentation is the disappearing parking lots and airport buildings. This is definitely raising questions for the investors because if this is the direction Tesla is taking with its concept, what about the Tesla car model range? because those are cars that need parking lots and charging stations and so on. This uncertainty is what sent the stocks down, followed by the minute issues in the concepts themselves, which I addressed. So if you found this top five, 
tickle your brain. Then subscribe, like, and comment if you got any ideas as well. And if you've come this far, you can go to my Patreon page to support me. Link in the description.